More Vampirella for you on Grimm's Spooky Comics Corner. This might end it. It's another five issues. This is quite long. They did 11 uh, issues for the Vampirella on the first volume. And there's several more. I think they're on seven or eight or even 11 uh, right now. They've been doing it for a long time. Crown of Worms 5, Dead Reckoning. <laughs> On they come, silently. Skeek! Quicksilver fast, silent as the grave. Seattle underground, consumed with rage, burning with hunger for blood for the pleasure of their mistress. Quickly, Miss Enfants, our master awaits us. Lee Fan Yu, once a favorite of Dracula, now eager to see our once beloved leader bow before her. She had been a powerful vampire, a queen in Dracula's blood-drenched court. Now something other, something perverse and twisted, wrenched out, of a sh wrenched out of shape by contact with an ancient, terrible artifact. As does the thief, the salope, Vampirella. I would see her suffer, children. I would see her weep. Some people just carry a grudge. Bullets, Vampirella, you really think that'll stop me? Hell's deaths. Hell's depths, that burns. Blessed silver in the bullets, Vlad. A gift from the Vatican. An annoyance, nothing more. You know me. You know what I am. It'll take more than bullets to kill me. And you're all out of, you're all out of bullets now. I am. My friend, on the other hand. Hey, Vlad. Huh? Big fan of the whole vampire thing, but I gotta tell you, in person... You don't live up to the hype. Blam! Arrgh! Idiots, you're making a mistake. We're all running out of time. To rid the wo this world of you, utter best. To rid this world of you, utter bastard. I will make the time. This so-called apocalypse we face? You brought it down on us. Now you want me to help you clean up your mess? Woo! Damn you. Listen to me. Lei Fan Yu is coming. She and her bastard children serve a power so great it will devour all life. All of it. Everywhere. What the hell are you doing here, Sophia? You just shot Dracula. Crazy. You just shot Dracula in the face. Ah! Crash. V, they're here. Blam, 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 blam. Sophia! There's no more time, Vampirella. Lee Fan Yu is here, and she will kill your pet human... Tear out your heart and cast all of us into the abyss. Unless you give me the key. The key. The stone artifact I captured from Leaf and you. It's a, it's a trick. Has to be. I shouldn't trust him. You both want it. That means one thing to me. Neither of you should have it. You don't even know what the key really is. I do. Except. Come to daddy, little morsel. Ugh. And this time, Vlad Dracula has been royalty. A cunning general. A ruthless warlord. I am a prince of Wallachia. Wallachia. Yeah, yeah, it's Wallachia. Yeah. I thought it was either... No, it wasn't Wallachia. It's Wallachia. My word means something. I swear you this oath, Vampirella. Give me the key and I will use it to save us all. I give you my word. No harm will come to you or your companion by my hand. Please. And I swear this is the first time he's ever been genuinely afraid. Agreed. Hungry. Scream, little morsel. I like music with my dinner. Pluh. Done being scared of you bastards. Go ahead and kill me, but I'm done being scared. Brave girl, we've got you. Wait, what the hell is going on? We're all friends with Dracula now? Not exactly. Big mistake. My mistress is coming. Your time is done. She will... Slump. She can get in line. Don't worry, infant. Your treacherous mistress will be keeping you company soon. Slump. So, uh, do we have anything resembling a plan here? Yes. Kill them all. Terrific plan. It's nothing to fear, human. These are mere whelps. Children that need reminding exactly who rules the night. Yeah! They're strong, with a tremendous advantage in numbers, but something's different. They're slower, unfocused, letting their numbers work against them in the confined space. Driven mad by hunger and burned up from within by the sickness Lee Fan Yu has infected them with, which just makes them easier prey. 
Easier, but still plentiful. Still dangerous. There's no end to them. Fall back. Fall back to where? Just go. Slush. 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 Wham. Wham. I'll buy some space. Wham. Come on. Come on. Rumble, rumble. Kawoom. I can hear them scrabbling at the rubble. At best, I've just bought us a few moments. They'll be through that soon. So if this key can save us, tell me how. It's quite simple. Keys let you open doors. Lying double-crossing blood-sucking son of a bit. Blackness. Screaming. Falling. Ch back again. This place a hallucination but painfully believable. Feels different this time. More solid. More real. Before I felt disconnected from it like watching scenes from a half-remembered nightmare. This time I feel more. Anchored in both this place and the real world by the key. Connected to it. Like seeing through two sets of eyes at one time. The hell are you doing to her? The hell are you doing to her? Nothing, girl. I gave my word. Now we have a ceremony to attend. Like two worlds on the verge of colliding. <sighs> I know you're around here. Oh, you miss me, didn't you, sugar? Can't really miss myself, can I? No, that's the real question, isn't it? You're starting to figure it out, aren't you? Maybe. Or maybe you could quit screwing around and just tell me. This place, it's my own mind, right? It is, is it? Yes and no. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, if it is, Freud might have something to say about your dreams. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Oh, this is no cigar. This is Yagoth Vermelis, the hungry one. And you've known him for a long time. Older than creation. Born into the icy realms of ancient hordes and driven by only two things, rage and ravenous hunger. And every so often, chewing a hole through into other worlds. Extruding vicious little bits of themselves into our universe. Seeking out hope and light. Because to them, hope and light are food. Falling to earth and then... BOOM! Hilarity ensues. So this key is a piece of whatever that is. And it's been here for so long, trying to find a foothold, instilling its hunger in its victims. Sound familiar? Oh, Dark Mother, it encountered humans millions of years ago, touched them, made the first vampire. And now it's found that foothold it seeks. Found a queen to spawn its children and turn all that exists into a feeding ground. Oh, sugar, it's going to be so bad for you. I hope you're up to it. No wonder Dracula fears it. It sees with hatred. No, it's not real. I can feel its bottomless hunger buzzing through my mind, rattling through, rattling my very soul, such as it is. An illusion. Calling to me. Demanding submission. All in my head. Battering against, battering against my very self, intent on shattering it. This is not real. Devouring hope. Until there's nothing left but the cold, empty void. Back with us soon, I hope. Oh, wake! Excellent. Back in the land of the living, so to speak. Dracula! And look, the guests are here. Now it's a party. Hello, Leaf and you. It's time for you to go, master. Your reign is over. I will have what was stolen from me. Step aside and serve me. It is my time now. That's a bit premature, Leaf and you. How can you rule when Yagoth Vermelis has already chosen his bride? And you're just in time for the ceremony. Now that's a good picture. Long live the queen. Ceremony. Volume or issue 6. Can't move. Can't feel. Please. Pinned to my seat by an unimaginable leaden weight. Everything around me cloaked in shadows. Race moving through moving through thought uh, fog. We'll get that right. This is a solemn occasion. I can barely hear them. An, in an insect hive buzz in my skull drowns them out. Show your new queen some respect. Insistent. Implacable. Your transgression against me is unthinkable. Return what you've taken, old master, and out of respect I will kill you quickly. You think so, Leaf on you. The worm has chosen his bride. Now you're merely food. 
We shall see, old one. Bring me Dracula's heart, children. Demanding something, anything to say to snarling hunger. Cretans! I know this one, don't I? A friend, an ally. What was her name? V. Come on, girl, it's me, Sophia. Now would be an excellent time for you to start killing stuff. But I can't move. I can't think. I destroyed the Turks. I survived countless wars and would be vampire hunters. I faced down the lords of chaos and order and raid and rattled the cages of heaven itself. You? You're just dying meat. A lifeless marionette, her strings cut. Send more leaf on you. It won't matter. Soon Yagoth Vermelis will awaken his bride, and your time will finally be at an end, betrayer. An empty vessel. Lost in void. Hurts like the devil. Ah! Throbbing, ice pick stabs behind my eyes. Dark mother, after images jumbled together of here, wherever here is, and there. Whirling nausea as my eyes watch the carnage unfold in the underground. I know you can hear me, worm. And an eye blink, back here to this nightmare other space, once filled with hallucinations, like dancing on a tidal wave, leaving me here in this ocean of emptiness, alone. I know what you're trying to do. All alone. Perfect. Perfect timing, Sophia. Follow the crazy vampire chick into a goddamn nest of bloodsuckers, just when she goes catatonic. Seriously, V, wake up! Ugh. All right, screw this. Have to do every damn thing myself. Huh? Since the first moment I touched Leaf on You's damn key, it's been there. Not alone, bride. Never alone. Humming through my brain, whispering to me. Together in the cold, empty. Us forever. Goading me on. It's time, bride. Urging me to rage, pushing me to kill. You shall wear our crown. And we shall feed. Ugh. We shall hate. Can't stop it. You see? You've lost. Yagoth Vermelis has chosen a queen. Vampirella wears the crown now. Like holding back a hurricane, slamming all that is me inside. Your time is up. A passenger in my own body. At last. Oh crap. This can't be good. Nightmare images batter their way into my mind. We birth your kind, queen. Your hunger is our hunger. Visions of wriggling things boring through the heavens, grasping for a foothold in the light, and upon finding one hating those that already live there. Since we first touched this world, since the first we blessed with our touch fed upon the human cattle you vainly hope to protect. Hunger incarnate, and bottomless hate, and through you we return to this place. Dark Mother, help me. We are free to rid the heavens of the putrid puddles of flesh you so value, to scour existence clean of this excrement smear you call life. Yagoth Vermelis is the source of the vampire's hunger. We will feed at last. You have found a suitable queen. Excuse me. You have found a suitable queen. You have our thanks. Yes, certainly. Except you. She who would be queen. You have failed. But please, I live only to serve you. Not anymore. Slurp, 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 slurp. And then there's you, Vlad Dracula. He would, who would be our prince. What reward do you seek? To serve Yagoth Vermelis, to provide a suitable host is reward enough. Well said, and this Vampirella is indeed a wonderful host. Strong. Powerful. Everything else is lies, of course. We know Vlad. We have the memories of our host, of Vampirella. We have seen what she has seen. Learned what she has learned. Yeah, we know of your treachery. Of your attempts to warn her. To enlist Vampirella's aid. See the fruits of your deception. You are nothing. The children of Yagath Vermelis are the future of this place. You sought to tear down the heavens and rule the kingdoms of the earth. But in the future we are building, there is no place for you. So this is your master plan? Turn Vampirella into a host for an evil god? And then what? Try not to die? Child, I've torn the jaws off of humans for less. Oh, shut up. 
I get you're scary, but we're both gonna need each other. Crunch. Very well. Your weapons are nearby. And no, this wasn't my master plan. Yaga Formellus, you've found your host and she wears your crown. But you still need the key, don't you? Without it, you're still trapped. Still squirming to get through this to this world. Come and get it. Always the tactician, Vlad. And as usual, you overstep. Gah! Thwap! Idiot! You've served the gods of chaos so long, you think they're all there is to fear! There are older gods than chaos and order. Come on, come on, gotta be something. There are darker things to fear. Gods of hate. Gods of hunger. Gods of rage in prison for uncounted millennia. And thanks to you soon, we will all be free. Smack. Hey, V, enough. Oh, what are the hairless apes? Such impatience. Your turn will come soon enough. Slip, slip, slop, slip, slop, slip. Okay, bitch. Have it your way. Shing! All your scheming, all your plotting, and here you are crawling in the dirt. You cannot stem the tide that is rising. Give me the key. Yeah. All right. All right. Bundling, bundling pain. The hive buzz in my head screaming, drowning out everything. Yeah! A shrieking choir singing a, sing, a single hateful refrain. All is lost. All you are. All you were will be wiped away. Beneath it all, another voice almost imperceptible. Vampirella. Cling to hope, Vampirella. It gives the meal its savor. You want the key? Take it. Smack! We will devour your heart. No, you won't. You're many things. Embodied hate. The incarnation of hunger. A murder god. But you're not exactly the pinnacle of cleverness, are you? Cold water shock slams... Excuse me. Cold water shock slams through my mind. For the first time since I touched the key, the constant pressure in my skull subsides. The insect hive howls in pain. Good. Careful, kitten. Remember who you are. Remember all of who you are. Not just the cold rage. Not just the guilt or the fear. It's been said you're a story, a mythological construct, and stories change, grow, evolve. Part of you has always been innocent. Remember that part as you write your tale. Remember me. Yeah! All the anger, all the fear surges within me like a dam bursting. Enough! Glam! I will not be a pawn, and this ends now. Blam, blam, blam. V, are you, you again? Because if you are, I think the bad guy is getting away. Come uh, on. The real battle has always been here in my own mind, hasn't it? Where you wormed your way in, pushing, always pushing, pressuring me to anger, to rage, to hate, to give in to my hunger, and by doing so, give you a way in. No more. And all of it, all at once, I'm free of it. Smack. My mind is my own. No more insidious whispers. Get ready to run, Sophia. Blam, blam, blam. I know who I am. Are you kid? Excuse me. <clears throat> Are you kidding? I've been ready to run since we came down here. Move. It isn't over, of course. Yagath Vermelis has been denied access to our world, but it is still out there waiting. Not to mention the old, the other old gods it spoke of. Nuff, <laughs> Karoom. And Dracula, Hale only knows what the worm did to him. As certain as Moonrise, we'll see him again. You okay, V? You look like crap. Weak. Tired. All the boys. Yeah, well, it's been a busy night. I guess you're only human. The battle is won, but the long war ahead beckons. So that was great. Oh, uh, we've got time. Let's do more. Number 7. Everyday Monsters. Seattle, Washington. Come on. Almost there. Oh, excuse me. That was the wrong tone. Come on. Almost there. So, it's been a strange week. Home sweet home, Vampirella. Man. 
Whatever she went through in the Seattle underground, it took a hell of a toll. No pun intended. Yeah! Hard to wrap my brain around it all. Vampires exist. Let's just roll that around for a while, Sophia. There be monsters here. So let's think about something else. There are monsters, but they can be killed. I'll drink to that. Let's review. Survive a vampire attack in the Seattle underground? Check. Help a seven-foot-tall vampire warrior battle a tentacled whore from beyond space and time? Check. Jesus. Worst wet bar ever. I should relax. The worst is behind us now, right? Well, all the monsters are dead. Well, almost all of them. Sleep well, V. You earned it. I killed the bottle, too, and damn. And V has burned through three units of whole blood. Bottoms up, V. Medical terminology brought to you by endless reruns of medical dramas. She's beautiful. Like, supermodel beautiful. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. It almost makes you forget what she is. Almost. Something about her makes the hair on my arms stand on end. Like, no matter how beautiful she is, you instinctively know she's not human. Just like I know nothing about her. Occult, weird, unsolved, and grave robin. All right, V, let's find out who you really are. What a surprise. There's not a lot of information available. It takes some search foo and a lot of reading between the lines. Mostly unsolved homicides and arsons. Usually with hom homicide, dude, not homicide. Mostly unsolved homicides and arsons, usually with an element of the weird. Huh. Oh, that looks like Dark Man. A little bit. Wacko websites that no one takes seriously talking about undead Prussian soldiers, demon henchmen, and of course, vampires. Names like Fatoni and and Von Christ and, and Nix. Weird stories going back to the 1960s. The game's afoot, but it's the internet. You can find anything on the internet. There's one nutcase who has dozens of pages of proof that McCartney died and was replaced with an imposter before Sergeant Pepper, hand to God. Uh, there's actually a lot of proof to that story. I looked it up myself, and I listened to a documentary on it with a guy that was kind of a whistleblower on that. Highly recommend you research that. That is a very fascinating story. Even if it's not true, just the amount of work and the, the possibility. Uh, apparently, it was a guy that tried out to basically, you know, he was a McCartney impersonator. You know, he was very good at it, and they found that he was just the right guy. And uh, it's very possible. Stands to reason that V has picked up fans over the years. Obsessives, all with theories about V and what she is. Military bioweapons experiment, hellborn entity sent by a repentant demon, and my personal favorite, alien space princess. That's actually what she is. God, she looks so innocent. Not exactly how I'd describe Vampirella. Enough. At the time, I wasn't sure who I was more afraid of. But then fear and I go way back. Salt Lake City, Utah. 24th December, 99. His name's Ron. Mom married the creep after my father died when I was about two. Mom did not win the husband lottery. I was a kid. I did what I could to escape. Paid attention in school. Didn't make waves. Lost myself in fantasy. Especially the monster mags I swiped from my brother. Actually happens a lot with young girls sometimes. I mean, with creeps like Ron in my life, how bad could made-up monsters really be? God, haven't thought about Ron in years. Not since the funeral after his liver packed it in. <sighs> all through the service, all I could think was, Good riddance, you monster. Monster, like that word has any meaning anymore. Funny world, I was happy my stepfather was dead, and now I'm hoping an honest-to-God vampire doesn't die. How messed up is that? Almost as messed up as my words of comfort to her. Adam! Shh, you're safe. It's just a nightmare. Can you imagine how bad our nightmares must be? That looks pretty metal right there. Also, kind of reminds me a little bit of, um... Fist of the North Star. The outfit, just a little bit. Adam, 
Something about that name. All right, Adam, whoever you are, what's your story? No way! It's a small link off of the Vampalore fan site, followed under weird stuff. An obituary with very little in the way of hard information, unnatural causes, foul play, and almost nothing else. Just that name. Van Helsing. Seattle, Washington, 19th October, 2003. Where you going, creepy girl? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's your hurry, creepy girl? Got a big date? I mean, with that all black, I'm so tortured look, you should have no trouble finding a guy. Here's a tip, sweetie. Color. Even the grunge creeps wear flannel. Come on, Allie, I just want to go home. What's this? Hey, give that back. This your diary? Dear diary, today I woke up and was just pathetic and scary and everybody hates me and I should just die, weirdo. Should have stayed where you came from, new girl. Yeah, probably. Oh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Good times, right? Anyone who says high school is the best time of your life deserves a kick to the liver. Story of my life. Monsters everywhere. The drunken stepfather. I've been there before. The absentee mom. All the web surfing and drinking are just stalling tactics. It's getting to be decision time, girl. Do you stay or do you go? Do you fight or do you do what you always do? Do you run and hide? It's almost too weird. And I say that after having spent the last few days hanging around with actual vampires. Taxi! It was the name Van Helsing that finally hit home. By the time I had gra graduated from the monster mags to the horror novels, Stoker was my favorite. It wasn't just because it was beautifully written. I always liked Mina. Sure, it's supposed to be Harker's story in Van Helsing's, but I liked the parts with Mina the best. Probably because she shared my mother's maiden name, Murray. I used to imagine my mother as Mina, tough, determined, and ultimately able to survive the onslaught of the nasty monster. But that was fiction, and Mom was always the victim. I swore I never would be. But that vow was fiction, too. Sophia! Just like my mother. Robert, are you going to let me in? Let you in? Always falling for the bad boys. You've been gone for days, Sophia. Days and not one word for you? The, the, one word from you? I heard... <clears throat> I heard that the club you hang out at, Carmilla, burned down or something? I thought you were dead. If he cheats on you, it's probably your fault. I see you've been in mourning. If he hits you, you were probably asking for it. Hello, Candace. Hello. Look at him, he's beautiful, flashing eyes, killer smile, great body, terrific in the sack. So, I was dead, and you spent all of a day getting back into your ex-girlfriend's pants? Oh, shut up, it wasn't like that, she was consoling me. The monster I invited in. Sure, I, I didn't know you could console in the missionary position, Robert. I've got a cell phone, did you call me? No. If you thought I was missing, did you call the police? No. Oh, grow up. You're not going to make me the bad guy here, Sophia. I think you should leave before I make you leave. Robert, come on. Enough already, Sophia. Just get out. Gah! What? There are real monsters out there. Gah! Gah! That sounded a little street fighter. And I'd rather face all of them than spend one more second with you, you pathetic piece of crap. It's insane. I should just walk away. Feeling better? Yeah. There's no reason to stay. Yes, considerably. Thank you. Vampirella's world is a treadmill of horror and violence and blood and death. I'm pleased to see you, Sophia. I thought you'd gone home. If I stick around, I'm going to end up as food for some horrible creature. I had some things to take care of, and admit it, you need my help. So like it or not, I'm here to stay, V. But as much as I want to, I can't just walk away and forget this ever happened. There's a Dracula in this story, and a Van Helsing. It just wouldn't be complete without a Murray. The end. Next. A Murder of Crows. Okay. So these are all the covers. But Grim, don't you have any more Vampirella? Is that all? Just these really awesome covers? Look at that. Yes, I do have more Vampirella. I'm so glad you asked. 
Let's see. And we still have time. A little bit, but we have time. Look at all these wonderful. Wow, look at that cover. It's a good one, too. Wonderful covers. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, it's great. Eh, not feeling that. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's so many covers. Great to see all these covers, right? You love it. That, okay. Wow. And that's it. It was just Crown of Worms. I don't know what this will be, but we're done. <laughs>